So a quick video will be extending the task we did, um, project we did about creating borders, but this time a border not with a solid colour but with a gradient um, within it. And of course there are many permutations within the gradient option, but I'll just show you how to do a simple gradient in your border. Now this isn't something that would be appropriate um, um, in many instances because it can be a little bit overpowering or a bit too much, but for certain instances it can be very very useful and of course very effective so it's a question of you choosing to use this technique um, uh, appropriately but nevertheless i'll show you how to do it in exactly the same as the the first method is that we go to outline in the effects panel so we've got the image already there effects panel we go to outline pull out the tab um, in fact i've already done that so let me just go back to solid color so that's the way it would be solid black color uh, border but i don't want a solid black color it's on the inside which is before i've selected the size of it and large size tends to work better with this effect because it's more visible uh, but instead of a solid color here what we want is a gradient so we've got these options here we're not going to look at contour now but if you look at gradient and then within gradient you've got a linear elliptical radial and um, a conical gradient but just keep it to linear for now because this um, a thin border tends to lend itself better to a linear gradient and you can change the the angle at which the grade if you just watch here in this um, swatch here of which way the gradient is going to go so if you go from bottom left to top right so it starts from slightly darker red to a light red but of course you can change all of that by just clicking on this swatch itself and the gradient options come out pops out so what we're saying is um, it's starting with that and ending in that color so starting there and ending there but if i click on that point which is the lighter color on the top right and then click on the color i can choose what color i want it maybe i want it a garish pink um, and then the the dark bit here i don't want it to be maroon so i'll click that that that's selected you can see it just increased in size slightly and the color i want there is maybe i want a slightly different um colored purple so a slightly darker purple again you can choose any permutation that you want and also you can change at what point does the gradient transform from one color to the next so you might want to have it predominantly dark purple so and then it goes into the light purple or you can just have it somewhere in the middle so it goes in the middle of the image itself depends on again what you want to emphasize so you can do it um, uh, from there and as soon as you've clicked away you can click it again and just bring it back up again change it if at some point at this point you think well actually i want the gradient to go from not from dark color to light color that way around i want it the opposite way the quick way to do is just to click on reverse here so if i click on reverse it just reverses it and you can just choose to see well which one looks better um, and then and then stick with that okay and then you just click close and if you click on the layers palette uh, you've got the effect there that's the effects and if i just click on that effects that uh, layer effect um, effects tab um, option pops up again um, a pop out uh, box sorry pops out again and you've got that selected and you can tweak it again change the size of it again if you wish because you haven't committed to it yet at this point okay so that's the um, the gradient effect on your border